Okay, buddy. We call you three, two, one. Welcome to Universal Broadcasting Network's Hit Afternoon Show, bringing you the latest in music news, artist interviews, and more with your hosts, Lauren Dare Owens, Ariel Fournier, and Adam Lusk. This is the Music Project. Hey everyone, it's Lauren Dear Owens. Hey, it's Adam Musk. And Ariel Fournier. And this is The Music Project, and Garrett gets a mic this week. Yay! I know, it's been so long. After our hectic week last week. Uh, I think Tony just needs to install more mic stands, or so mic, yeah. mic things, <laughs> and microphones in general, just so we can have like, just have a hanging from the ceiling, we'll so just we can give, pull them down. We'll just give Garrett a Britney Spears mic. Perfect. Oh my gosh! Can yes. I, can Honestly, it be like I don't a pink take... mic, like bedazzled with <laughs> with, with like gems? No, it's no, like no. I, I want like real gems. I want some gold inlaid <laughs> around it too. You're the most diva person <laughs> I've ever met. And you do a show with Lauren. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Sweet burn. I can tell this is gonna be a good show. Have you seen that black eye again? Uh, um, what black eye? I don't see any. Do you see anyways, a black eye? Anyways, we have someone very special in the studio with us today. Cooper Phillip, how are you Hello. doing? Great, thank you. How are you? Thanks for having me. You're so welcome. Of course. Are you, are you enjoying your Sunday so far? Yeah. It's you, been pretty it's hectic pretty nice. and stressful, but I'm trying to be just, you know. Just That's calm. right. You're, you're here yeah. now. We're here. All your problems are gone. We're in studio having a good time. <laughs> sure. <laughs> so how did you get started in music? Your story's um, very interesting. Thank you. Um, I started as a classical pianist at the age of five. Oh. I was born in a family well, of musicians. Then. My mom is a classical violinist, and my father played classical clarinet. Wow. That's so amazing. I, yeah, so I was surrounded by music since my earliest years. So I mm. uh, grew up in musical theater. Uh, actually classical opera and ballet theater. Uh, and first time I was on stage, I was two years old. I Aww. was part of uh, Tchaikovsky's opera, playing the, the girl. Wow. And the first moment I went and saw the audience and like 1,000 people mm -hmm. in front of me, I was so impressed with this energy. And I'm like, I really want to be there and stay as, as long as possible. So, and then I decided to start singing and playing piano. I played harp, classical harp, harp mm -hmm. for five years. Um, and then uh, start participating in different singing competitions, starting from regional, then touring all over Russia, because I'm from Russia originally. Um, and um, yeah, and then international competitions. And uh, every competition um, was very special because I felt like I like to compete and mm -hmm. this feeling that you need to prove to yourself that you're better, not than everybody else, better mm -hmm. than you are, and you're improving yourself every time you perform. So it was a very, very exciting time and I, I learned a lot from that. That's very so. cool. So you were born into a musical family. Like yes. music was just there. That's so yeah. cool. Yeah. Um, it was like all around I'm, you I'm while just, you were in the belly. <laughs> I'm in awe right now. I can't I can't even Adam's often in awe. <laughs> <laughs> I mean I mean my dad I grew up with my dad in a band. <laughs> That's, that's, that's really that's, cool. Uh, that's cool. But, you know, a classical violinist, right? Yes. And a classical, you're a classical pianist. Yeah. And a classical... Cl Clarinet. Harpist. Har Harpist. Yeah, okay, I had a question. I've never understood this. How do you know what strings are which? Is it just something you have to learn uh, over time, or...? It's the colors. The so colors. The, the wow. C is red, string okay. is red, um, then A is blue, and F is black. Wow. So it's, if I remember right. So in the certain positioning you you study throughout mm -hmm. the you know the course and you play it and it's all about musicality to be honest with you it's not about mm -hmm. like the technique you have to feel the instrument yeah because mm -hmm. it's you know it's very very musical I love playing harp and there's a um, seven positions when you use your feet you're changing from flat to sharp it's really interesting there's foot pedals on yeah harp? yeah seven. <laughs> Seven foot pedals yeah. on a I had no exactly. idea. I didn't even know there was know. one foot pedal. Yeah, <laughs> seven. And you have to manage here and there, down there. Uh, so it's probably it's the most complex instrument. Um, <laughs> no, I mean, it's really fun. Yeah, so I really enjoyed it. Growing up in the musical family, um, do you definitely feel like that made it so much easier for you to learn these things because you had it constantly around you? And did they Absolutely. help you for sure? Yeah. Uh, from the very beginning, I never thought I could be a musician. You know, I felt like... I need to like I want to dance, but so much of pressure, too much of, like musical family, music around yeah. like. But when I started singing, I realized this is what I want to do like professionally, 
and then I started to perform and contests, festivals. So it helped me a lot wow. to understand what I want. So how, um, who are some of those artists that help you transition from classical, because a very classical family, into something a little bit more um, current and pop with your, um, with your music? You know, um, I started um, with jazz mm -hmm. when I was 10. Um, my 10th birthday, I remember the present that my mom gave me, the Ella Fitzgerald CD. Aww. You know, it's, it's really hard like, because you guys grew up in this country and it's, mm -hmm. everything is out there, you know? Yeah. And for us, for like, for Russian people, it was very interesting way we were, were you know, getting the information. Yeah. It was really hard and it was a rare CD, Ella Fitzgerald, mm -hmm. the best, like, best jazz tunes. I started there and then uh, Jay Mon Hyde, mm -hmm. uh, one of my favorite jazz, um, modern singers and then uh, Mariah Carey and Steve Wonder definitely so I was trying to you know listen to each and every style of music mm -hmm. like at the same time just everything yeah because if you, you would ask me like what's your favorite like musical style I'm mm -hmm. like I like every style of music because I think as you're reading a book you study you learn and you trying to find your pers personality and you you growing and develop your personality through reading same with music mm -hmm. you study this style this one and you understand who you are as a musician so definitely classical like background and jazz and pop and urban really helped me to understand what kind of music I like to write and perform very cool. Well, let's go ahead and play one of your songs, Silence. I heard this song actually when, when I was at work and I was, you know, going through music vlogs and stuff and I found this song. I was like, oh, I, I like this. I like this a lot. And so I sent off an email like, I'm going to get her on the show. That, that's, that, that's my goal for this mm -hmm. week. And so I love this song. Um, what's it about? Uh, it's about my story, my personal relationship story um, with a person I loved for mm -hmm. uh, over two years. And I felt like um, I'm not getting back what I'm giving. So... I don't feel loved enough and it was the moment I need to live and I was mm -hmm. afraid I didn't want to hurt him yeah so it's a very personal very emotional song it's a beautiful song so Thank let's take you. a listen sleeping on separate sides laying Apologize to you. Lack of reality, close to insanity. Why would you leave me? Why would you push me? Game on talk of what in the end. What would you say if I left without a trace? Because I couldn't let you be loving me now and again.
That song yes. is so gorgeous. No. Silence by Cooper Phillip. So beautiful. Thank you, guys. I, uh. Oh, my God. I'm just breathless almost. <laughs> <laughs> it's good. Uh, you know, we were listening to it. We were talking a little bit in the studio, but I was listening to the song the entire time. And, this, you know, the your voice with the piano arrangement is just beautiful. I got to I, I gotta say, it's amazing. Um, I was going to ask, did you write or help write the piano accompaniment yeah. to that? I usually write with piano with mm -hmm. the piano and you write it yourself with um, piano or have help or yeah i, I had a that's cool. somebody helping me writing that but i i love to write my, my music with a piano mm -hmm. or guitar mm -hmm. yeah so i'm very attached to mm -hmm. keys like i love yeah. i love how like um it's like a weird description but like how hollow it sounds like i love when mm. songs just have that piano and there's not much else there but there's just there's something about it that just like this hollow sound and it really brings out vocals and everything it's beautiful. yeah I, thank you i really want to keep it very simple so people can listen to the lyrics because mm -hmm. um yeah all, all the done up songs it's like oh wow those instrumentals are cool and you know wow yeah. that dubstep drop was <laughs> awesome in the middle of this metal song but <laughs> no one knows what the lyrics are about or anything like that and i think going going to these super simple songs you know it's really popular with like sam smith and yeah. being or adele adele, adele mm -hmm. is so popular right now with just these super bare bones songs of just piano and vocal well it makes it more um, personal too it's yeah. like you can relate on another level and it's, it's like you're sitting in the room with the artist mm -hmm. you know it's touching cool. it's it's a real touching experience you know mm -hmm. um so yeah um what about like other songs what's your sort of writing process do you come up with you know like the it's always different company um, first as I said before, I, I love to write with the piano, starting with the piano, mm -hmm. playing some chords and then hearing some melodies and, and then recording myself on just on the phone. Mm -hmm. Sometimes I can wake up in the middle of the night hearing some words or concepts and I'm like, okay, I wish I can remember it in the morning. And I yes. wake up and mm -hmm. I see my notes in the middle of the night and I'm like, what was that? You're like, what was yeah. I thinking? Yeah, so and sometimes, you know, it's, it's really cool to just experiment and mm -hmm. never be, you know, in the box and like that's how I write. It's it's different all the time. You're inspired by things you see, um, by things you taste, smell, people you meet, and stories you watching. So it's always different. But I think for me, writing is about how you feel about communication, well, mm -hmm. how you feel about yourself with other people, and like. So it's it's very for me it's writing is very emotional. Mm -hmm. I'm trying to be very very honest with myself when I write because mm -hmm. the audience can hear and feel that through your music. So I think that's so it's different. Sometimes I write on the track mm -hmm. when I hear some really cool beats and You're I like, hear some oh, wow. yeah I'm like Gotta yeah that. that's really cool sound and I think that's my sound. Yeah. You know. So um, tell us a little bit about your experience coming to New York for the first time. Oh, it was pretty cool. <laughs> I just, um, you know, decided one day that I want to go and pursue my career in the States. Um, I didn't speak really English. Mm -hmm. um, I didn't how, know. how old were you? 17. Wow. Wow. Yeah, I was pretty brave. Pretty daunting, yeah. <laughs> um, but I felt like it, if the time to risk, it's now, not later. Yeah. And I felt like, and everything happened really quickly because mm -hmm. my classmate, who I haven't seen for over five years because I moved from my city when I was born, Saratov, to Moscow, to study music mm -hmm. uh, in conservatory. Um, and then we found each other on Facebook or <laughs> uh, Russian Facebook. <laughs> and he's like, you should go with me because I go every year and I work quick at the Central Park. You should go with me and check this out. With your talent, you should do something bigger than what's mm -hmm. what you can do in Russia. Mm -hmm. And I decided, why not? I got the visa, everything went like flawless. And I came and uh, I was really impressed with my first day in New York. <laughs> Because uh, I had, it was my first flight in my life wow. for like 24 hours, stopped with the Washington DC. Oh and it was so amazing with different time zone, different, like the city is amazing, like yeah. Manhattan. So my friend brought me to Central Park and I was like laying on the grass and it was a really amazing story. I, I'll tell you real quick. Um, I just lay down and it was, I had like had no sleep for like 24 hours <laughs> and I decided to just lay down and I was completely off for three hours and I, you know, in Russia, if you would do this in the park, when you wake up, there's no computer, there's no documents, there's no money. But when I opened my eyes, 
There was no green grass. There was only girls and boys on blankets and the bikini tanning. It was June. <laughs> it was so funny. I was shocked. I had mm-hmm. first cultural shock. It was wow. my first day in New York. And then I just started meeting new people and mm-hmm. getting into But I felt very, I felt like home from the first day. And I felt like that's the country I want to live. I want to build. I want to create. And it was very tough. First two years, it was super tough because I had no support and I was like, life from scratch yeah mm-hmm. but i i will never regret that's the decision of my life that i i'm it was really hard but i'm amazed You're glad how you did it. yeah i'm glad yeah i'm very glad that i did it and i'm much happier now having my amazing team and being able to you know write music mm-hmm. and perform and do what i love you know it's i'm truly happy and i feel blessed that i can be on stage and you know be an artist that's what i always wanted and for myself that is very cool and then how'd you get to LA New York is like across the um, country I don't know it it came to me naturally I just got a gig in LA and I flew in and I played performed and I fell in love with the environment with weather <laughs> like, yeah I, the place I want to live you know yeah and then I just came back and I, my mom mm-hmm. came to visit me and I'm like you know I think we're gonna go. I think we're gonna move. Aww. And she helped me. She was the first person who really supported, like, supported me to make th- that move. And um, actually, the best thing that happened to me in the last like two years that that I moved finally. That's fantastic. That's awesome. Yeah, That's and cool. LA treats me really well, mm-hmm. and I'm really happy <laughs> to be here. Yay, that's so exciting. We're, we're glad to have you. Yes. Well, you have Thank performed you. at some really cool places. So what, what has been your favorite so far? Um, I really, really like the, the Vibe Room. I know mm-hmm. it's such a legendary spot. And it was my first experience playing there with my band. And I love the sound is amazing. And the crowd it was like a really sold out show. All mm-hmm. of my friends and people um, who I didn't know came to support me. Mm-hmm. And I met incredible, incredible guys and girls there. <laughs> so... Um, then also I performed at uh, different places with a, I used to sing with a jazz band. Okay. Um, and we played Vibrato, uh, Catalina, Vitello, some more like like jazzy places. Mm-hmm. But uh, I actually love jazz, but I never considered myself as a jazz singer because my thing is pop, urban, soul. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Uh, but it was a really cool experience. I learned a lot from that. Well, I saw in one of your videos from the Viper Room. Was it someone had a trumpet? Was that what the instrument yes. was? That was so cool. Yeah, I yeah. thought that was really great. Just very, you know, you don't see that very often. Oh, okay. in, you know, especially the pop world and around yeah. here. I don't, at least. <laughs> oh, I love um, the vibe when everybody's playing live. Mm-hmm. When the music is not as simple, but more like life bass, life. Because it's different energy, mm-hmm. different mm-hmm. level of yeah. the energy. So I love that. I'm trying to work with musicians. Mm-hmm. I love yeah. that creativity when you create something together with musicians, real musicians. Well, we have another one of your songs called Black Box. Let's take a listen. Crash before we landed, turmoil all is stranded. Can you hear my call? The black box says it all. The black box says it all. Take on my time, waste on my Between lights, red out of words, we 
passion is burning one now, one now. Hey. I love that soul. So beautiful. Love that soul. <laughs> Uh, and yeah. now all these songs are from your EP Walk a Mile, correct? Yeah, that's awesome. And um, where can the listeners find all your music? Uh, it's on my website, cooperphilip dot com, um, or SoundCloud, Cooper Phillip. Yeah, it's free to download. That's awesome. Yeah. So, um, what's next for you? Are you are you writing more right now? Or? Yeah, working oh. on more new music. Uh, preparing the show. I'm performing mm -hmm. at Hotel Cafe. This coming Tuesday, December 9th, Very 6 p.m. Cool. You guys are welcome to awesome. come. It's going to be a showcase. Um, so, yeah, I'm going to be performing there. Um, like, all the songs from the EP, some new songs as Yay. well. Yeah, it's going to be full band and background singers, so I'm very, very excited. What do you hope to, you know, achieve within these next couple of years? You know, we're getting to the end of 2014. What do you really want to work on and achieve in 2015? Um, I would like to conquer the world. <laughs> 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 yes. Um, but, like, uh, realistically, I would love to have, uh, to start working on the album mm -hmm. and be signed by the label and have a bigger, wider team of Do people. Do you have a label in mind already or uh, someone looking at you? Yeah, but no, secret. Yeah, you know when it when it's gonna happen, you guys will find out first. Fantastic. <laughs> yeah, I just and please, you know, speaking on that, please keep us in, updated on everything. Sure. Send us any we new. We will thing. play all new music and stuff like that. We would love. All to right. We love. We love keeping up with you know every artist that comes through here and just being you know you know every once in a while we have our update shows where you know this band did this and this band did this cool. and this band did this and now this ba band is making. We'd love to see how they grow. <laughs> Yeah, yeah I, I can't wait. You cough, know, cough, I know, after Romeo. <laughs> I know, I just from listening to your music, this label would be stupid to pass you up. Yeah. You know, it's, you're fantastic. You're an amazing performer. Or not Thank performer. You. You're an amazing artist. I haven't mm -hmm. seen you performed yet. so But I'm oh. sure you're amazing. I'm sure you're amazing. <laughs> so you. who would be um, your dream person to go either like open for them on tour or just tour with them in general? Mm, good question. Uh, I love Usher. Usher, mm. oh, He's okay. my favorite artist okay. now. Yeah. <laughs> um, Sam Smith. Oh, definitely, yeah. I could hear that. I uh, I yeah, could definitely. definitely. That. Collaboration. I uh, would, lo would right love there. to record a duet with uh, Eric Benet, one of my favorite mm. soul singers. Love that, you know. Yeah. I have a question. <laughs> yeah. I have a question. <laughs> you should put your hand down. Mode. <laughs> oh, I forgot to Bruno Mars as well. Oh, yes. 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 Are you going to be pursuing, you know, classical piano or harpist tree? <laughs> Um, I don't think so, but you know, you <laughs> never know. I think everybody's different, mm -hmm. and maybe maybe sometime in the future you can record yeah. a classical yeah. piano, yeah, album, EP. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> I don't think about myself that I'm classical pianist. I don't call myself classical pianist. Just a pianist. I just in love general? to accompany mm -hmm. because I think, you know, people when they see you playing and mm -hmm. performing at the same time, they respect you more yeah. mm -hmm. because you're you're a musician in their eyes, mm -hmm. and I'm a musician, and I'm, I would love to grow in my artistry and uh, play piano better. I practice a lot, and you know, you never know. Just do everything and grow each and every field of your, um, you know, play mm -hmm. piano. I, I don't I haven't played harp for five, six years. Wow. Yeah. Do you think yeah. you would ever want to put it in one of your like find a way to put it in I'm a pop song? About you know? it. I'm thinking about it. I think that'd be cool. It'd be very different. Very different. Very unique. Cool. Yeah. I think so. You know, yeah. especially <laughs> with those seven foot pedals. Yes. Yeah. It'd be very Why beautiful. Not? Still shocked over that. You learn something new every day, I guess. Uh-huh. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know why I found that so funny. <laughs> it's it is though. But yeah. Wow. So, um I say let's play one more song and let's you know, set up for your live performances. And Hear you. I, I, nice I'm, and live. I'm excited. I'm very excited. Sure. Yay. So this next song is called Tough Love. And what? give us a little um, background on background. it. Background. Um, the same story. Mm -hmm. Pretty much different words. <laughs> That's okay, okay though. Yeah. It's, you know, it's, uh, it's about being in love and feeling, you know. It's tough. Upset. It's really tough. Yeah. When you don't have appreciation in relationships and you feel like you love so much and mm -hmm. you just... I think this song will speak to everyone because we're all going through mm -hmm. similar feelings and emotions. All right. Um, all right. This is Tough Love by Cooper Phillip. You're watching my heart. 
so silently you stand I'm trying for gold Shaping a sculpture It's impossible to play You wanted to play But you were too late Watching this night turn into day Turn on your light But left in the dark You never stay You're burning like a dog, dog, dog in heat Everywhere I turn, 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 I see You're holding on to the littlest piece of me I want it all It's tough love, it's tough love I feel like you're giving up on us It's tough love, it's tough love But I'm not sorry going to sing for us live that was awesome beautiful Thank and you. you're going to sing the song off your um the ep of the same name walk a mile walk a mile all right well whenever you're ready we're ready cool. we used to sleep on the subway Right until the sun came up To rock away on the A train It was a struggle but it made us stop Hand to mouth, hand to mouth That the fairy tales that you read about You and I, you and I Against the world we could touch the sky They can tell us nothing, nothing until they walk a mile in our shoes Everybody needs something Something To hold when they with nothing to lose You are the only one who gave a damn about me You were the light when I couldn't see They can tell us nothing Nothing Until they walk a mile in our shoes Daddy said I couldn't leave here As long as you are with that man, yeah, yeah, yeah Hit the streets and I live here yeah. Till this day they still don't understand You held me down, you held me down The 
earth was crumbling, you were my ground Hand to mouth, hand to mouth Not the fairy tales that you read about They can tell us nothing, nothing Until they walk a mile in our shoes Everybody needs something, something To hold when they have nothing to lose You are the only one who gave a damn about me You are the light when I couldn't see They can tell us nothing, nothing Until they walk a mile in our shoes Sometimes the road less travel Is a battle zone yeah, yeah, yeah. Sometimes you walk through the fire, but you walk alone. Sometimes you get just the one chance to get it right. You're gonna make it right. They can tell us nothing, nothing, until they walk a mile in our shoes. Everybody needs something, something to hold when they've got nothing to. You were the only one who gave a damn about me You were the light when I couldn't see They can tell us nothing, nothing Until they walk a mile in our shoes Walk a mile, mile, walk a mile, mile Walk a mile, mile, walk a mile, mile You were the only one who gave Damn about me, you were the light when I couldn't see They can tell us nothing, nothing Until they walk a mile in our shoes Yay! Killer, killer Slayed it <laughs> Slayed That was amazing Where can I buy that? <laughs> Uh, you cannot buy that. You can download it for free from even better. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> my face, so, my face is pushing. You're like, you're like, you can't buy it. I'm like, dang it. Adam looks so disappointed. <laughs> like, damn it. Really so it's on my that. website on SoundCloud. You right. can download it for free. What is your right. website? CooperPhilip.com. Cooper, oh, you said that. I remember that. I think. <laughs> yeah. Kinda. And all other social media, the same thing. Yeah. It's just uh, Instagram, Cooper Phillip, Twitter, Cooper Phillip one. Number one. Number one. Oh, snap. Uh, <laughs> and yeah. yeah all lowercase. No yeah. dashes, no nothing. <laughs> yeah, no nothing. All right, cool. Yeah. And then you have your show at Hotel Cafe, December 9th. Yes, six o'clock. Six o'clock. I'm sure to go up. support her. Um, coming up, but year. not. Um, not talk about it? Not uh, set no, yet. We'll talk about it. Oh, okay. Definitely when it's going to be like set up. Okay. Yeah, but more shows yeah. coming. Let yeah. us know and we'll Sweet. absolutely we'll put it out there. Thank you so much for coming Thank in and so hanging out with us, us, sharing your music. Yay. Oh, you're amazing. <laughs> Thank you you're amazing. So much. Thank you. <laughs> Just killed it. Um, and yeah. Thank you again. I'm, I'm Ariel Fournier. <laughs> I'm Adam Lusk. <laughs> I'm Lauren Dear Owens. Did, did it backwards this time. What? Come on, we got to switch it up, guys. And this has been The Music Project. See you guys. Bye. Now that you've found UBN Radio and discovered our quality 